Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. We are back today and we're gonna be talking about some more of the finals. And I wanted to discuss everything that we know so far about season two because the final season one is already coming to a quick close with only a chunk of days left before season two's launch is right upon us. I think there is a lot of stuff that we have in terms of teasers, theory crafting from the community and speculation as to what's gonna be coming next that it's gonna get you guys excited. I think that the finals has done a great job in season one. It has definitely cleaned up some of the game's major pain points. Overall, I think we're on great ground to walk into season two and really allow the finals to step into what it's trying to become. And I think people are gonna really start to see the beauty of this game and it's gonna make a strong presence on the first person shooter scene. Not that it already hasn't. And so like I said, we do have a handful of teasers to take a look at today. A bunch of images, which we're gonna kind of break down and provide theories for. But in addition to that, I think we have a good look as to what we're gonna be getting for the next season's map, the next season's weapon, and also maybe even some later game modes and events we could see halfway through the season. All the stuff that we talk about today is more so speculation from stuff that's already been released. This isn't official. Take it with a grain of salt, but I, once again, I think it's pretty convincing. So taking a look at image number one. Uh, this is gonna be regarding the new map that we're getting. If you take a look closely, it doesn't look like a whole lot at first. If anything, it just kind of looks like a big black box with a bunch of random glitch effects on it. But if you really look closely, it does show a lot of high rise buildings. If you kind of look down in the middle as well, you see a street with a bunch of cars and this is all densely packed. So we're gonna assume we're here in a major city. These aren't spaced out buildings. We're not in the wilderness. This is in the middle of Narnia. And that segues us into image number two, which is also a big city. We see more buildings and it also shows a crosswalk down in the bottom left hand of the screen and a skinny, what looks like kind of like a cherry blossomy tree, I guess you could call it, or just a regular tree. And then up in the top right, we also got a sky bridge. Now, if you look at all this and assume the fact that we're in a city from the first image, uh, this is highly speculated to be Shibuya Crossing in Japan. This location is extremely pretty. And just the thought of going to Japan for season two gets me giddy. I think that the potential for cosmetics, like a Japanese themed battle pass, and store item, I mean, it's just gonna be beautiful, bro. Everything about Japan is beautiful. But yeah, Shibuya Scramble Crossing is an iconic tourist attraction. It's the center of youth fashion and culture, and it would be one hell of a location for the finals to take us. With the crosswalk, the sky bridge, and all of the trees that are there, I think it would make for one of the most engaging maps that we've seen so far, a sky bridge that is destructible over top of the playable map would be insane. I mean, we already have the big bridge on Seoul, but once that's taken out, it falls down into the ground. And I mean, it, it, you fall off the map, but this would all fall onto the playable map. I mean, we're in the middle of a city here. In addition to the crosswalk, it would almost seem like this map could function somewhat like Las Vegas already does. We have the center plaza in Las Vegas and then all the casinos and hotels around it. And maybe they could do the same here with a mall on one corner and I don't know, some shopping market on the other corner. They could do a ton of stuff. Only one section of Las Vegas in the map that we currently have is actually realistic to what's there in real life. And then the rest was developed by the game studio and kind of made in their own innovative way. They got creative with it and what's around there, but they could probably do the same thing with this map. I don't know if they're gonna try to like copy pasta the whole location, you know, spot on, but they'll probably do, they'll probably function somewhat like Las Vegas does. But yeah, we had a ton of UFOs. It was a really cool event. It tied in with the theme of Las Vegas. And so a bunch of traffic could make sense for Shibuya Crossing. Lights go green, cars are gonna drive by crazy and you better get out of the way unless you wanna get one tapped by an SUV. Uh, and when the lights are red, I mean, you're free to cross. Go as you please, make your way to the next building and go destroy it with some C4. But that's pretty much all I gotta say about the maps. And so now we're gonna move on to the new gun that is speculated to be coming to the finals, which is going to be shown by this image here. Once again, at first glance, doesn't look like a whole lot, but when you compare it to some of the weapons that we have, in real life, it kind of looks like the FAMAS. And the FAMAS is a three round burst rifle. Obviously in some of the Call of Duty games, we've seen it go fully automatic. 
We actually don't know if this will be a fully automatic or a burst rifle, but when I look at the medium class, which is what this is most speculated to go for, uh, I think that a burst rifle would really fit the medium class. I think that heavy doesn't make so much sense for them to run around with ARs. They're more light machine guns and shotguns and sledgehammers. Same with light. They're more SMGs, quick run around weapons, skill shot weapons like snipers. So yeah, I think this could go well. I think it would fill the void of the type of weapon that we're missing right now in the game. And I think it would be a great addition. The FAMAS is an extremely iconic weapon. I think they could have won with an M16 as well, but once again, we don't know if this is going to be burst. And if anything, the FAMAS is probably more iconic than the M16. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Do let me know in the comments though, would you prefer it if it was burst or would you prefer another fully automatic rifle? I'm just trying to think of where these weapons fall into place. We got the AK, which is a bit faster firing, more accurate, SCAR, more recoil. It's harder hitting, less bullets. Burst, burst makes sense, right? And to finish it off, we're gonna be talking about just the overall theme of this season. We have CNS, which has proudly presented us with some leaks for season two's music. Uh, the song is definitely giving 80s and 90s retro video game vibes as to what they've released. And when you think of Japan, they are a major contributor to retro video games and even modern day video games. They got companies like Sega, Nintendo, freaking Nintendo, Bandai, Namco, and Capcom, they're all Japanese companies. And so this does make a lot of sense. I think the theme and the music all ties into Shibuya Crossing and the fact that we're going to Japan, but now it begs the question, when are we going to Japan? This is the really powerful part about the finals game. And it's that we can do anything we want. I mean, even the cosmetics are so much more customizable than any other first person shooter you play out there right now. And that's because of how diverse the game is. I think Las Vegas 2042 made a lot of sense going forward into the future. We're dealing with, you know, futuristic aliens and them taking over and it just makes more sense to go forward. But with retro themed video games and Shibuya Crossing in Japan, I think going backwards in time would pay a lot more homage to its theme and just the quirkiness of the environment. To conclude all this, the theory is that we're going to Japan, specifically Shibuya Crossing in season two of the finals, where it's set in the early 80s or 90s, where Japan started to take over the retro gaming scene and i think this all adds up to be one beautiful and heck of a season and to really finish it off though we do have some theories on what we could be getting later on in the season if you pay attention to some of the earliest trailers of the finals and even some of the official artwork that they've released we have gotten pictures of samurais and when you research to see if there's any samurai japanese themed holidays or events it actually comes up that there's about four traditional samurai parades held in early April, which would be a great time to launch some mid-season cosmetics and possibly even events revolving around the theme of these parades. This would be a great way to tie in real life events into a Japan themed season while being accurate to the actual date of them taking place. And so yeah, with all that being said, I think that it's wrapping up to be a pretty exciting lead up to season two. We've also gotten that other teaser that we started to see in game a few days ago where the parts of the map is starting to glitch out. This can be seen across a variety of the maps in the game. They're kind of hard to spot, but when you do see them, there is a bit of a glitch effect. We don't know what this means. We don't know if this is the CNS hackers. We don't know if this is possibly a tease for Orc Raiders, which is Embark's other major title that they're working on. So yeah, it could mean a lot of things. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. There's lots to speculate about, lots to be excited about, and I'm sure there is lots more to come as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys are excited for most about season two. What do you want to see in season two. I'm thinking that's another video we could make in the next upcoming days. If you guys would like to see that, please let me know by commenting down below. It's the best way. I read you guys' comments and I appreciate the feedback. I do stream every single day on Twitch as well. Link to that will be in the description. We'll be playing lots of finals over there. I hope this got you excited for season two and I hope it inspired you to maybe do a little digging of your own to see 
you know, what's coming, bro. Make your own theories. I want to know. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I will catch you all in the next video tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy yourself. Keep up. Stay up. Peace out.